Hi, my name is Devin Knight, and welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course. In this module, we're going to be looking at the Enlightened Waffle Chart. Now, the Enlightened Waffle Chart is pretty similar to Waffle Chart, which we have actually looked at in the past. We covered a Waffle Chart many, many modules ago. But this one is a little bit different that you can actually put little captions or a blurb next to the values that you're showing on the chart. So it's a 10 by 10 grid of dots that allows you to visualize the percentage of values that you're showing. So it might be pretty good for something like a survey. That's what we're going to be looking at in our example. We're going to be looking at some survey data and showing the percentage of respondents that had a certain opinion. Now, you should keep in mind that you can only have two responses that display within inside the waffle chart. You can't actually have multiple colors outside of the two that are shown in the chart or the screenshot on the right hand side. So you can have two different responses that are visualized within the chart, not more than two. You also have the ability, like I mentioned earlier, to actually place a little blurb. That's uh, the proper name for it within inside of the visual. It's a blurb that describes the value that you see within inside of the waffle chart. All right, so this one is developed by Enlightened Designs. Let's go ahead and walk you through how you can use the waffle chart in an, another example. All right, so in this example, we are going to be looking at survey data. Survey data makes uh, pretty good sense for using something like this waffle chart. So we're going to go up to the Get Data section here and select that our data is coming from Excel. And the data we're going to be using here is called Power BI Experience. And inside this data set, it has two survey questions, two survey responses, one asking them to uh, individuals to rank their level of experience with Power BI, and then the second one to uh, determine how long they've been using Power BI. So we're going to go ahead and load this into our Power BI data model. And you can see those fields now appear here on the right-hand side. And then we're going to next go ahead and bring in from the marketplace the waffle chart, the enlightened waffle chart, which we can find by going up to the custom visuals and then from marketplace section up top. Once we select that, we can search for waffle or waffle chart, and we should find pretty quickly there's two different waffle charts. One we've covered in a previous module, and then in this example, we're going to cover the Enlightened Waffle Chart. So we'll go ahead and select the Enlightened Waffle Chart and click Add. This will add it to the visualization pane on the right-hand side for us. And then we can go ahead and bring this into our design surface and size it however you'd like. And then once you've sized it the proper position for you, however you prefer, you can start to bring in the fields. Now, there really is only two types of fields you're going to bring in. You can bring in a value as well as a group. And if I bring in the group, for example, so say, for example, I want to bring in to rank your level of experience and bring in then the number of responses to that, I can see it brings back the 28% respondents. Now, what am I looking at here is I'm looking at the data. It might be kind of hard to tell. So what you might do is you might go look at the data itself to determine what that 28% is. You may actually change the orientation, right? Maybe you'd rather see the 72%, the other side of it highlighted rather than the 28%. Because what we're looking at here, if we look at the data, is it looks like that 28% are my more experienced or intermediate users of Power BI. And so what I'd like to do instead is I'm actually going to flip that around and I'm going to go underneath the format section here. And inside the format section underneath visual, I'm going to invert that logic that we see here, invert those dots that we see. So I'm going to select that I want to invert it and you'll see now we're seeing the 72% highlighted and it's inverting the values that we see here. And then what I'm going to do inside of the visual itself is I'm going to add some kind of text in here to give it a description of what that 72% is. All right, so for this example, I'm going to go ahead and type in something like 72% consider themselves a Power BI beginner. Something like that. So that way we can put on our uh, report here something very clear that defines what that 72% means. All right, you can also do a few other things here. If you want to change things like the text color, I can change the text color to something other than that little off-color gray that Power BI always likes to use. You can also change the primary and secondary colors here as well. So say, for example, I want to make the primary color the more of a gray. I can do something like this. And then if I want to make the secondary color something more that stands out, because we're really highlighting that secondary color in this scenario, I can make it something more of maybe like a yellow, okay, something like that. And so now we're seeing the 72% define themselves as Power BI beginners. It's highlighted in the yellow. You could even change the text to be that same color if you wanted to. Then if we wanted to, in this case, I have multiple questions that are inside of this survey, so I can go actually bring in another visual if I wanted to. So I can select the waffle chart again, maybe size it exactly how the same size as that one is, and then we'll bring in the second question, which is how long have you been working with Power BI, and then the responses to that right here. So it looks like 84% is what we're highlighting, but what does that 84% mean? We need to go actually give it a nice little blurb here so it's clear what that 84% is. So in this scenario, I would say that 84% have 
been using Power BI for less than six months. So we have a nice little blurb in here, and now this is kind of shaping up to be a nice little report that returns back some information about our survey data. Again, you can change the colors that are used in the color scheme. So if I wanted to, I can change the colors here and say, well, I'd really like the primary color to be more of a gray, actually. Let's go back and select the same gray we did in the last example. And then my secondary color will be more of a standing out red here. So I can see the difference between these two charts, and it stands out. You could, of course, make them the same color if you wanted to, but I'm going to make them stand out a little bit differently this way. So pretty simple visual here. Now you may also do things like maybe you want to remove the chart title or rename the title in some way because really you're getting what you need out of the blurb that's here. So I might come in and actually turn off the title here so that way it takes up a little bit less space and it's uh, not, really, not really helping that much to have that title to begin with. So just the visuals in themselves might be a pretty nice way to be able to visualize this. And then we can kind of set them a little closer to each other if we wanted to as well. You can kind of bring them really close if you wanted to. And then that way they're very similar to each other and they're both kind of sitting next to each other ready for your users to make decisions on. All right, that's it for this one. It's a pretty quick little visual here, but I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Thanks for watching and look forward to showing you our next custom visual in our next module. Thanks a lot.